Hello. I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we're going to look at repeat front from string 2, and this is the Java solution. The problem states, given a string and an int n, return a string made of the first n characters of the string, followed by the first n minus 1 characters of the string, and so on. You may assume that n is between 0 and the length of the string inclusive, i.e. n is greater than 0 and n is less than or equal to str that length. This last sentence is really nice to note because it means we don't have to do any type of index out of bounds checking. So in this case, we see repeat front chocolate four, and we get C-H-O-C. We get the first four letters, and then we get the three letters, two letters, one letter. And then we see chocolate three, we get the first three letters, the first two letters, the first letter. Ice cream two, we get the first two letters, and then the first letter. So again, strings two is all about using loops in order to actually um, solve problems that manipulate strings. And this is an example of string construction where I'm going to use a loop and I'm going to run that loop n times, and I'm going to add. Um, I'm going to add a substring each time that loop runs. So let me show you just an incorrect version, but kind of a template. If I make a string called result, and I'm going to make it an empty string, and now I'm going to set a loop to run n times. So if in this case I'm just going to say result is equal to result plus str. And let's return result and let's take a look at what we get. So I hit go and notice I get chocolate four times, I get chocolate three times, I get ice cream twice, I get ice cream once. So essentially what it's doing is it's it's taking the entire string and then concatenating it the number of times that I want. But that's not exactly right. What I want is I want to go, I want to go from from n here and I want to take n letters, and then n minus 1 letters, and then n minus 2 letters. So what I have to do here is when I add result, I have to use a substring here. So I'm going to say str.substring, and I'm going to go from 0, comma, and let's just put 0, comma, n, and let's take a look at what happens. So notice now, each time I add, I'm going to add the substring, um, and if n in this first case is 4, I get the first 4 letters, first 4 letters, first 4 letters. But what I want to do is each time I run through that loop, I want to get 4, 3, 2, 1. And this is where I can rely on a nice relationship with i. If I say n minus i here, look what happens. Why does this happen? So in the first case, let's just put some comments here, when i is equal to 0, we're going to get str.substring, and I'm going to get 0, comma, and if n, for example, is 4, let's imagine n is equal to 4 for this case, it's going to be 4 minus 0, which we can see is 4, so I'm going to get the first four letters. Remember, with substring, you can very quickly tell the length of the substring by taking the second parameter minus the first parameter. So then when i becomes 1, and this is still valid because we're going to loop as long as i is less than 4, we're going to say str.substring, and we're going to go 0, comma, 4 minus 1, which equals 3. Let's actually put equals 4. And so now I'm going to get the first three. So i is equal to 2. I'm going to say str.substring, 0, comma, 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2, which is equal to 2. i is equal to 3. So I'm going to get str.substring, 0, comma, 4 minus 3, which equals 1. And then i is equal to 4. And in this case, 4 is not less than n, which is 4, so therefore I exit my loop. And so, again, what does this problem highlight? It highlights an understanding of string construction using concatenation, and then the ability to use substring to pull out part of those words, and then using that counter to kind of dictate what the, what the substring value is going to be. I hope this quick explanation helped, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.